Hello and welcome back to the Residual Royalty Academy. I know it's been a while since I last made a video, but as they say, absence only makes the heart grow fonder. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm personally no longer bothering publishing colouring books and exactly what I'm publishing instead for higher royalties and for higher profits. So I've got three reasons why I'm not publishing these colouring books and I'm also going to give you three ideas for what you can publish instead with things that have less competition and more potential to make money and make a strong business on KDP. So the first one, without any further ado, let's go straight into it, is the initial outlay. Like for a low content book, this is one of the more expensive types of niches to be in. So even if you're hiring on Upwork uh, in some obscure countries, you're still going to usually be paying uh, for a high quality coloring page three or four dollars. And that's how much I've tended to pay when I hire people on Upwork. I tend to go to places like Ukraine uh, or other places in Eastern Europe. I do find the quality is good, but it's still not exactly that cheap. So let's say you're making a 60 page book. That means you're going to have 30 coloring pages with a blank page in between each to obviously stop the, uh, the pen going through the page. That's going to be a 60 page book with 30 drawings. So at $4 per drawing, that's going to cost you $120. Now, obviously on places like Upwork, you can negotiate, but if you negotiate too far down and you're paying like maybe $50 for a whole coloring book of original drawings, you're either going to get scammed or get really low quality if you do take that price too low. So that's the first reason why I'm not publishing coloring books in the future. Now let's go straight on to number two. So this one is ad spend. So because the cost per click, the CPC, as it says, is so high. Um, and the reason for the CPC being high is because there is competition. Like the more people who are bidding for that same keyword, the more like the auction system takes the price up. It means that in these coloring book niches, oftentimes you can be paying 50, 60, even 70 cents just to get a click on your book. So that means you're gonna have to have a really high conversion rate to actually make that profitable and to actually get sales on those books. And another thing that I forgot to write down here is that Oftentimes these coloring book niches, because there's so many different books, it means it kind of pulls the whole aggregate price down. So you can see people listing these coloring books for like $3.99, $4.99, which also means the royalty is lower. Um, and what I tended to find is that, yeah, I can actually rank these coloring books. I can get them to start selling a bit, but generally I spend so much on ads that it just means I'm breaking even and the book never really takes off. So it's kind of just pointless because I'm spending so much on ads. Um, yeah, maybe I would spend $300 on ads in a month, but maybe the royalties is only $300 as well. So it's pretty much just pointless for me at least to be publishing these coloring books when I know there's better niches out there. And I don't know if this is the case for you, but maybe comment down below how you found uh, publishing coloring books so far. And the third one here is that coloring books have quite a low barrier to entry. You know, anybody can stick a few pages together of different drawings in random various niches uh, and put a book out and call it a coloring book. So everybody knows about it. Everybody's doing it. Um, and unless you're like the best of the best, which I am not for coloring books, that means it's saturated. Now, obviously the argument with saturation is that nothing is truly saturated in terms of high quality. So if you do actually wanna make it with coloring books, you've just gotta be the best in the business. For example, like that Jade Summit is who you might have seen on Amazon and all of her books are always killing it, but that's because they are the best. And if your books aren't the best, you're just gonna get lost in a whole sea of, let's say um, 80,000 other coloring books, as it says there on the search results. So that means you're going to have less market share and it's going to be really quite hard to dominate. And I think it's just better to focus on other niches. Well, that's what I found in my experience. So here's what I'm publishing instead. So other types of low content books, books that are a bit harder to make, books that are more obscure, books that people don't know about. And one example of this could be like books for babies age zero to six months. So you can go on Amazon and you can search that niche and you can actually find some really cool ideas. Um, I can even show you one now. Um, books for babies zero to six months. Let me search this for you. I'm going to show you a book idea that you can do. So here you go. Here is an idea for you. It's like a, a black and white baby book because maybe babies when they're this young, they can't really understand the colors. So this book you can see here, it's only got one review, very new book and the rank, I believe I checked earlier, it was 26,000 in the UK. So that is a really strong book. Uh, and if you look at the results on this, there's only 3,000 results uh, for this search, which is a lot different to 80,000 as we saw earlier. So just think outside the box a little, spend some time on Amazon looking for these different niches with less competition and, and maybe even more sales, and you're gonna do really, really quite well. And other types of low content books that do well for me is like log books, activity books, color by number, and a variety of others as well, which I talk about in the Royalty Accelerator course. 
so let me grab this now and let's go down and look at number two. So this has been a big focus of mine, especially for the last few weeks, audiobooks. I've really, I stumbled across some really, really, really strong niches and I've been going really, really hard on ACX, which is the publishing platform where you publish books onto Audible. Uh, and the one benefit, and one benefit of this is that there's zero advertising spend. So Audible or ACX has no um, PPC platform like Amazon ads, which means the only way to actually rank the books is by SEO. So it means that all the royalties you make is pure profit, obviously after you've paid for the narration. And the narration, uh, this links into the second point, which is that it's extremely outsourced. Like you get, you create the book, you can even have somebody create the script for you and you just send it to the narrator. And then after that, it's pretty much done. Uh, and now the publishing is faster than it used to be. So in the past, you could sometimes wait two or three months for Audible to review the book and to get it live. But now they have committed to a 10 business days, which means that within less than two weeks, your book is generally going to be live uh, on the market. Should there be no problems with any of your cover or your manuscript or your narration, etc., etc., or your quality of files. And here's just a third idea for you with regard to what else you could publish and what I have been doing myself. So children's storybooks. So this is a much higher barrier to entry. People don't really know how to do it. It's not really in anybody's courses. So nobody really has done it or nobody really knows exactly how to do it. And so people aren't doing it in mass. And even if they are doing it, they don't know how to make a high quality one and how to rank it and how to sell it. Um, so I've done a couple of these and they have done really, really well. Uh, and like I say, less competition requires more thought to make it a high quality book. It means there's more potential for royalties and more potential for profit. So like it says just down here, let me know what your experience has been with coloring books. Let me know if you're still publishing them, if you still plan to publish them in the future. You know, maybe you've got an edge uh, in some kind of way. Maybe you can draw them yourself, you can save money. Uh, or maybe you've just found some really obscure coloring book niches that means the CPC is lower. So just let me know what you think down below. And I'm happy to have you listened all the way through to me ranting and rambling. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.